Squamish First Nation elder Sam George recounts what he calls eight years of abuse and neglect at St. Paul's Indian Residential School in North Vancouver after he and his brother were taken away from their family when he was only six years old. The first day, like grade one, I seen two brothers get beat up by a nun quite severely because they were speaking their language. George says he barely survived his experience and it wound up leading him into a life of addiction, crime, violence and incarceration. I went to Okella prison at 15 years old. Very scary place. Now he's sharing his story in a memoir called The Fire Still Burns, Life in and After Residential School. Writing it down, getting it all out there, really looking at myself and trying to be honest about it and just getting it out and say, OK, that's me. I was like that. I'm not that way anymore. George's is one of five memoirs written in collaboration with students and educators, a part of Langara College's Writing Lives program. Jill Goldberg helped develop the course. She says she was inspired after the National Truth and Reconciliation Calls to Action. There's a real emotional process to having the students learn to really care for the elders, right? So they're not just interviewing them and asking questions and badgering them, but they're working to slowly, slowly build the relationship and build the trust. Tannis Wilson is an off-reservation member of the Constance Lake First Nation in northeastern Ontario. She was one of the students who worked closely with George on his memoir. He had to be really vulnerable to do this. I think it's a really brave thing that he's doing and he just really rem um, encouraged me to remember that like as Indigenous peoples our fire never can never burn out. The course involves developing a relationship with elders, sitting for several interviews to record their stories, which are then organized and edited under the approval of the elder. It's a privilege to be able to actually, you know, sit down with someone and, and hold space for them. George's memoir takes readers from his early childhood to what he remembers as the horrors of St. Paul's and its devastating aftermath. It ends with him finding a way forward in life by reconnecting with culture. He says it's a story of survival and rebuilding after trauma. I had to look at myself. Very big step in healing. Knowing who I was. <coughs> knowing who I am. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, North Vancouver.